Brothers and sisters, peace be with you. Today is Friday, September the 2nd, and I'm going to share with you some of the visions that were given to me yesterday. Now, yesterday I received about 44 zero, 4 zero visions, and I was able to record down about 38 visions. So, I cannot put all of them down because... If I put even 20 or half of it, it will take me more than one hour already. So let's go um, and see what the Lord is telling us. All right. So remember that the Lord has given us two greatest commandments. That's to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, and all our strength. And to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So each day we move along the path of righteousness into holiness. Now remember... That the Lord asks us to care uh, to prepare three gifts. There's faith, hope, and love. And suddenly come to my mind there's something that I don't know whether I have ever uh told uh you in this English version now huh? is that these messages you can put in your YouTube, you can put in your Instagram or Twitter or Facebook and so on. Uh, I definitely don't mind because these are the God's messages, all right? So use these God's messages as much as you can to glorify the name of the Lord. Actually, in the Mandarin one, I mentioned about this quite often, but in the English one, so far I forgot until just now came to me that you can put in your YouTube, your whatever sources that you you have to tell people that the kingdom is here is coming lord jesus is coming to uh to rupture the bride of christ the wise virgin all right so remember to prepare your family members friends and relatives your children your grandchildren or your husband or wife and so on please do not let them to be left behind that is not what god wants okay god wants everyone to go home and remember that the children and babies will be automatically going home the little children the babies all right and we as parents or grandparents we need to prepare ourselves and that is to wait for the for the lord to come it doesn't mean that we sit there doing nothing. No, to wait on God means each day you meditate on God's so word. Each day you pray and you have an intimate relationship. Uh, close, very close. Move very, very close to Lord Jesus Christ. And let the Holy Spirit lead us in our daily life, in the knowledge of God and so on. Let Him lead us. And remember, Abba Father is waiting for us. All right? So, today for the scripture, uh, for the Chinese one, they are listening to the John Bay Sermon channel and talking about uh, you need to learn not to turn back. Okay? You need to learn not to turn back. Now, remind us about Locke's wife, right? So, let's look at the journal page I've written down. Uh, that is Luke chapter 17, verse 32 to 33. And the Lord uh, uh, told uh, the uh, the disciples uh, remember what happens to Lot's wife. If you cling to your life, you will lose it, and if you let your life go, you will save it. Okay. So if we um, cling to our long uh, the earthly life, okay, we will lose it. We will lose our life. All right. And then if we let this life go. We will save it. We will save it into the future. All right. So let's go to Genesis chapter 19, verse 1 to 29. If you can understand Mandarin, please go to the uh, video and listen to the pastor's sharing. It's really good. And uh, I've written down the code number already. So you can just type in and then you can go to the video and listen. But it's in Mandarin. Uh, it's easy to understand. All right. If you can understand Mandarin. But if not, never mind. Let's go to ba the Bible. Uh, Genesis chapter 19. 19 here is talking about the judgment is coming to the world, all right? And then 1 to 29, as you know, in the Gregorian calendar, uh, the West is going on on the 28th, and then the East is going on on the 29th. It's exactly like in this Genesis chapter 1. Uh, chapter 19, sorry, chapter 19, verse 1 to 29. 19 is also equivalent to uh, 1 plus 9, equal to 10, all right, completion on the 29th. So, Sodom and Gomorrah destroyed. 
maybe I just read quickly because everybody is very familiar. But just to remind us not to turn back. All right. Now, verse one: the two angels arrived sudden in the evening, and Lot was sitting in the gateway of the city. When he saw these two angels, he got up to meet them and bowed down with his face to the ground. I believe the Holy Spirit telling him these are the angels, or、uh, okay. Um, High-ranking angels. Now, verse two, and then、uh, this Lord said, "My lords, okay, please turn aside to your servant's house. Okay, very, be very, very polite. You can wash your feet and spend the night, and then go on your way early in the morning." Now, you know what happened? Came to my mind, and I got tingling in my thumbs. You know, this one remind me of meeting Lord Jesus Christ outside superstore. Now, this is real life. Okay, literally met Lord Jesus Christ. I didn't realize it until later, right? I、uh, I've told you this story many times already, and it really happened sometime at the end of November or very beginning of December,、uh, in the year two thousand seventeen, before I was taken to new heaven, new earth. All right. So remember, you and、um, you. I mean, be kind to even stranger. Okay, when they have need, help them. All right, just like I met Lord Jesus Christ, he disguised as a homeless. All right, and we had a wonderful time talking. Now let's get next one. So I can imagine you know, when we are together you know, in eternity, we have so much to talk about. We will be very happy, like because I experienced it already. You know,、uh, it's about how many years? Near to five years ago, right? And then. Uh, the angel said, "No." The answer: We will spend the night in the square, okay, in the town square. But he,、uh, this Lord, insisted so strongly that they did go with him in the end. Okay, so this Lord, he really meant it. He really want to welcome the the two stranger. Uh, happened to be the angels, okay, to to spend the night in the in his house, okay, because outside is so dangerous, all right. And then he insists so strongly that they did go with him and enter his house, and then he prepare a meal for them, okay, welcome the stranger. They、uh, they must be walking very tired already. They need a、uh, place. To rest and with some food, okay. That's what a lot did for them, and baking bread without yeast, and then they ate. Now verse four. You see, all this I believe the Holy Spirit was leading logs, just like how the Holy Spirit led me、uh, to prepare before I met this Lord Jesus disguised as homeless. Okay, and then during our conversation, the Holy Spirit was guiding me too. Okay, in the end, before I left, and the Holy Spirit, inside me came to my knowledge that high five with him, then high five, and then I say high five, and look, you know, this homeless he he pretended Lord Jesus pretended that he was. Very surprised, okay. <laughs> and then my five fingers out, and then his five fingers, and then we clap becomes five plus five is what we are having five five, okay, five five, and then becomes ten, okay. So today I'm going to actually I I didn't mean to purposely put it down because of this high five with Lord Jesus. No, it just that came to me. This is very important. I I say only high five. This vision is the brightest vision I have ever, I have ever seen. Okay, now remind me of the high five with Lord Jesus Christ, disguised as homeless. Now let's look at verse four. Before they had gone to bed, before this. Uh, angel went to back. Okay, all the men from every part of the city, of from every part of the city, can you imagine so many men, both young and old, surrounded Locke's a、uh, Locke's house, and then they called to Locke, "Where are the men who came to you tonight? Bring them out, so that we can have S E X." Can you imagine these people like animals have S E X with the angels? Okay, with the the two foreigners. A stranger. Okay, verse six. Locks went outside to meet them and shut the door behind him and say, "No, my friends, don't do these wicked things. Look, I have two daughters who have never slept with a man. Let me bring them out to you, and you can do what you like with them. But don't do anything to harm these men, for they have come under the protection of my roof." So you can see that Lot was a really a righteous man. He was willing to sacrifice himself, right? Sacrifice. 
and then uh, to in order to protect others all right now verse 9 get out of our way they reply this fellow came here is talking about locks saying that locks is this fellow came here as a foreigner and now he wants to play the judge that means he wants to uh, control us and so on so and and we will treat you worse than them so the the those people you know, saw them saying to look oh, will you treat you worse than the two two strangers coming to your house okay then they kept bringing pressure on locks and move forward to break down the the door but the main inside there is a two angels inside reach out and pull reach out and pull okay locks back into the house and shut the door then they struck the men who were at the door of the house young and old with blindness so that they could not find they could not find the door so those men became blind okay more or less like where are we now where is the door where we cannot find the door you know uh, all the door the doors became the wall <laughs> and so on so the two men say to lot do you have anyone else here son in laws sons or daughters okay or anyone else in the city who belongs to you get them out of here verse 13 because we are going to destroy this place the outcry of to the lord against these people is so great that he has sent us to destroy it the lord sent these two angels to destroy sodom okay so locks went out and spoke to his son-in-law who were pledged to marry her his daughter and he said hurry and get out of this place because the lord is he Lord had great faith as well so he believed okay he believed that's what is telling us the lord is telling us we should have faith don't think that people don't believe so we also don't believe no we know the scripture and it's going to god's promises is going to pass okay so because the lord is about to destroy the city as looks can see that the city is full of these wicked people you know but his son-in-law thought he was joking see just like today many people thinking that we are crazy you know we are talking about end of the end of time talking about uh judgment coming and so on that is ridiculous to many people thinking that we are having good time in fact there are so many sufferings all over the world already now verse 15 with the coming of dawn okay the angel urged the lord saying hurry take your wife and your two two daughters who are here or you will be swept away when the city is punished when he hesitated the man grabs his hand and the hands of his wife and his two daughters and led them safely out of the city for the lord was merciful to them so how many people together locks locks wife and the two daughters so four of them four is a perfect number as well it's a goodness and number that's why i keep on seeing four right we are um we are going home the jewish calendar is the fourth and fifth of the ninth month so 17 verse 17 as soon as they have brought them out one of them say flee for your lives don't look back and don't stop anywhere in the plane flee to the mountains or you'll be swept away verse 18 but look say to them locks say to them no my lords please your servant has found uh, favor in your eyes and you have shown great kindness to me in sparing my life but i can't flee to the mountains this disaster will overtake me and i will die and then look and then angel said look here it, uh and then look say look here is a town near enough to run to and it is small let me flee to it it is a very small isn't it then my life will be spared all right so looks back the angels to uh to let him go to the small town and then he say to him very well that one of the angels said to him very well i'll grant this request too i will not overthrow the city, the town you speak of but flee there quickly because i cannot do anything until you reach there can you see that this is telling us as well we need to go the children and the baby need to go so that the judgment can come if we don't go the judgment cannot come now you think of judgment what is the use of judgment judgment is to bring people to repentance it's to stop people from getting worse and worse more and more wicked no to st stop people from getting more and more wicked to stop people from wickedness to lead people to repentance to lead people to repentance coming back to god okay and that is why the town was called zur 
uh, verse 23 by the time uh lord rich zor the sun had risen over the land okay so morning time then the lord rained down burning sulfur on sodom and gomorrah from the lord out of the heavens thus he overthrew the those cities so they sodom gomorrah and the entire plain destroying all those living in the city and also the vegetation in the land actually when i read this one last time long time ago i asked the lord what happened to the children the babies and the lord told me okay that these were taken away before it was burned down the cities were burned down so the lord spared uh spared the life of the children and baby were taken home because they were innocent so verse just like today children and baby will be going okay verse 26 okay we always see 26 but lord's wife looked back and she became a pillar of salt so if you google search Lok's wife picture you can see that it's still there so for the chinese one because in the whatsapp i can send to them directly but in the youtube channel well can you please go to the google search and type down log images of Lok's wife then you can see uh the 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 rock okay or you can say the salt is still there you know i've had experienced before i went to the beach with uh, a sister in england and we went along the beach and we found something and then inside is a shell shell became rock okay so something for a long time it will become rock all right now verse even the stones uh no, the bones okay will become rock as well verse 27 early the next morning abraham got up and returned to the place where he had stood before the lord and then he looked down towards sodom and gomorrah towards all the land of the plain and he saw dense smoke rising up from the land like smoke from a furnace verse 29 and when the Lord, when God destroyed the cities of the plain, he remembered Abraham and he brought Abraham out of the catastrophe that overthrew the cities where Lord had lived. So everybody, this time, in the same way, we are going to be taken out uh, before the judgment so that all this wickedness in the world will stop, will stop. So everybody, let's look at the journal page now. I mean, so in the on the journal page, you can see that we are going home now. As you know, every step we need to decode. You see, uh, we need to decode. So this time, every time we think that it's the last one, but carry on. But this time, we are getting more confidence now. Okay, so because the day is getting closer, it's not getting further. Okay, this time is November 28th and 29th. And as you know, if this is not these two days, please remember the Lord keep on showing us we are going home in the year 2022. And that is this year. This year, we are going home. All right. So we at the moment, we believe that it's 28th and 29th of November. That is coming to December. Okay. So still a moment to go before uh, the year 2023 now uh, the jewish is fourth and fifth of uh, kishle there's a ninth month and the chinese is the fifth and sixth of the 11th month in the lunar calendar now remember uh, we just go down okay uh, i've written down about 10 days of the calendar the last 10 days and then next one is the uh, can you still remember a curve at the 12 o'clock position written down 28 and then 22 at the about one o'clock position so 22 stand for new heaven new earth all right and it can also stand for 11 11 right so rupture in november so 28 is the day and then 29th and then here 2022 years up okay it's this year and then we have last time we decoded up to 23rd and 24th right no 23rd plus friday become 28th and then 24 plus friday become 29th and then this also uh, five five very bright five five as i say already high five with lord jesus christ uh five five one of the five is the jewish calendar uh or uh, the the second second one the east okay 29 and then another five is the chinese lunar calendar fifth day the fifth day is the west okay just now kishlet fifth fifth is the east and then uh lunar calendar fifth is the west all right so five five remember the high five with lord jesus christ and then next one with the 
uh, two lines going out and then the half of the circle on top written down 20. So remember 4 times 5 is also 20. 20 stands for salvation as well. But if you uh, add it up, okay, uh, in the, on the A, sorry, the eighth man, the eighth man is Shaven, Shaven 20th, okay. In fact, we also saw the, the, the word August, that is a few days ago, August, or one week ago, August. So that can refer to the uh, Jewish calendar, August, all right. So August, Jewish calendar, the eighth man is Shaven. So Shaven 20th, if you add 15 days, if at one five, 15 days, you will go to the faith of Kishle. Okay, that's why we heard the audible voice and also saw vision say that half months is enough. Half months is enough. That means start from the 20th of August. Now, uh, for the Chinese, is from the 20th, they got red color uh, 20 as well, right? Uh, the same thing. The second half of the circle, and there's one line going out with the red color 20. And that is the 10th month of the, in the Chinese lunar calendar, the 10th month, the 20th, okay? Or maybe 21st, or 20th or 21st, because we did, we saw 2021 as well. One for the Jewish, 21 for the Chinese, okay? Let's say uh, there is 10th month, 21st, uh, plus half months, half months enough that go to the 11 month, 6 of the 11 month, all right? Now, next one, uh, 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 th. Now, 5 plus 6 is the Chinese lunar calendar, 5th and 6th, and 11 is the 11th month. th is 28, the number is 28, and that refer to the Gregorian calendar, okay? Uh, it's 28 numbers, uh, the number 28, okay? Uh, referred to the Bible is uh, the Lamb, that is the Lamb of God, mentioned, been mentioned 28 times in the Bible. And the word Hallelujah also been mentioned 28 times in the Bible. So 28 is a beautiful number, okay, represent the Lamb of God and Hallelujah. So that 28 is the day that the West going home, all right? Now, uh, 11 or so, normally the Lord will use chopstick to represent 11, all right? And then the number that, uh, the vision that I saw uh, before, and I mentioned quite a number of times, is qi ye qi zi, that means seven month and seven day, okay? So in orange color. So seven month, qi ye, actually how many stroke? Seven plus four stroke is equal to 11. 11, number 11. And qi zi is 7 plus zi is 4 stroke. Again, 11. That means there are two 11. One is the Chinese lunar. Another one is the Gregorian 11, November. Okay, can you still remember the egg? Okay, two eggs. One egg with the number on it. Okay. So on top, the Lord is very tricky. Why? Because he wrote the one, one far away from each other. One, one far away from each other. In fact, that can represent rupture in November. And then in the middle one written down 17, all right? And then the lower part is love. Love means to finish. Now, let's see. There's another vision also with 17 and 11. So 17 plus 11 equal to 28. Another 11 stand for November. So November 28 to finish, all right? Now, let's look at uh, journal page uh, middle no, 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 number one. Let's get number one. I saw two square, green square. What does it mean by that? I say, Lord, one is uh, above the others, you know. What is it? Green means to go, okay, to go. Then remind me about what? If you look at the, the journal page in the middle, uh, at the bottom there, all right? So two green uh, rectangle. That represents the green square, all right? So last time we decoded up to 23rd. 23rd, if you turn, if you coming down uh, to the southwest direction, then you can see the 29th. That means 23rd will go to 29th. In fact, it's not 23rd go to 29th. Actually, it's 23rd, we're expecting the east going home, then it go to the, east, uh, the, the west going home. Then it then been decoded 
the most recent one, we have to eat another five di- five days, so it become twenty nine. Twenty nine is the plus six days. All right, so twenty third is the west, and then plus five days is twenty eighth is the west. But if you go down like this, it will go to the east. All right, I mean, uh, yeah. Yesterday I say already there's a red line from east to west, west to east. Okay, so they merge together. Right now, uh, and then I wrote down the Jewish calendar. Uh, eh, did I put down five? Oh, oh, this is the twenty nine. Okay, so please go to the Jewish calendar and you can look at it yourself. Let's look at next one. It's eleven and like at the corridor there's eleven, but they're supposed to be very close to each other. Eleven one one. Okay, this one one stand for November. So as you know, we have the Gregorian calendar November and the Chinese lunar calendar November too. But normally we call eleventh month. All right. So next one is. Uh, upper one is green and lower one is black, dark with the red as well. So on top is light. That's why today, in fact, it's like this. I prepared the song yesterday. Okay, yesterday I can't remember what time, and then came to this Zheng Guang. All right, Zheng Guang means true light. Okay, now just now, only just now came to me. I look at this with light, and I say, the song the Lord gave to us is talking about the true light, right? So the true light that refer to Lord Jesus Christ, all right, and then Lord Jesus Christ was born as a Jewish man. So this nine stand for the Jewish. Oh yeah, the purifier plug now spark spark. Okay, you can see that in my house. You know, I can hear sound sometimes here and there. You know, that's the response from the Lord. He is so gracious. You know. Okay, that's why I'm not alone. I'm so happy that I'm not alone. When I go to New Earth, I'm not alone. And everyone, we are one big family. Okay, <sighs> let's get next one. Okay, nine stand for the kish like green color. That means to go. And the next one is the black、uh, nine. Nine here can stand for the four, uh, four of the fourth. And the fifth, if you fourth and fifth add together to give you nine, all right. And later on, we will come to some more, some more explanation about fourth, fourth and fifth as well. So let's look at number two. It's like this. It's like a hand coming out from my side. Okay. For me here, as you know, Holy Spirit is inside me, so the hand coming up and then feeding a young man, okay, a, a teenager, a big piece of. Cake, okay, really big piece, and he has to open his mouth very big and、uh, to eat the the cake. Now, cake in uh in biblically means、uh, good goodness, goodness, the all the goodness, all right. And in Chinese, mean beautiful, and then it also represent completion because the mouth. Even if you look at the mouth, it's round. Okay, that means it's full, it's complete. All right, so it's talking about the fullness. The fullness. That means we have come to the fullness now. The coating come to fullness now. No wonder the other day I saw the aluminium foil. Okay, the Lord fold up the something a、uh, wrap like this, but still have one 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 con one、uh, corner one corner. I was wondering already. At that time, we already de- decoded up to the twenty third. Okay. Now this corner, now we know is the twenty ninth and twenty eighth, twenty ninth. So it's done. It's done. I have full confidence. Okay, because there are so many confirmation for the vision yesterday. All right, and then before that, so I went back to do some work as well. Going back to the uh, August, uh, and then July, and then. Did I go to June? I I think no, just July and and August already. So some of the numbers they so familiar related to the day of going home related to eleven twenty eight twenty nine and the Jewish、uh, four five and five six Chinese. Now, so ah、uh, the mouth it means fullness and next one so seven seven you see. We are not going back on the seven month. Why seven up? Seven come up because it is a perfect number of God, and it's all referred to Lord Jesus Christ, right? And then, uh, seven times four equal to twenty eight, as we mentioned, twenty eight, the Lamb of God, all right. Seven is also going up to new beginning, all right. So that means divine completion into new beginning, 
And then next one, I keep on seeing seven nine together. When there's a nine, normally there's a seven. In other words, Kishle is the is the month of completion. Next one, I also have seven has has is twenty eight a numerical number. And then seven seven means divine completion. Divine completion, the day of completion. The one of it is twenty eight. Eight, okay, it's a Gregorian, but it's not in July. Okay, it's not in July. Can you still remember? I say already last time I saw a vision with the date uh, on journal page. It's fourteen of September. Fourteen of September. So September can be the Jewish September. There is a ninth month. Is the Kislev. All right. What about fourteen? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen can be nine plus five. Five plus nine go to fourteen. Let me catch late the fifth. Okay, catch late the fifth, right? And fourteen the other day the Lord taught us fourteen can also means uh four and five. Okay, fourteen because they mean one uh before five is four, so it's four and five. Uh, can you still remember four and five merge together and then one and five merge together, right? So now I understand because with all these. Uh, vision that is teaching me how to decode,、uh, so we know how to what the Lord means、uh, in in many visions that we did not know how to decode, how to、uh, how to say to to understand the meaning of the visions. Okay, now we know. Okay, just like two seven can means two plus seven equal to nine, or going home into divine completion. Now next one. Is like、uh, going up from seven o'clock to one o'clock, going up the hill or going up the mountain, and I saw twenty nine. Okay, so twenty nine can stand for November or the eleven month. Okay, can also stand for twenty ninth of November, going up. Okay, going up, and then next one is I saw for、uh, what's it recording now. We know that we still have three months to go. All right, so why is it for recording? Because the Jewish man, all right, now is Elu, Elu. Then after that, we will go into Tishri. After Tishri is Shavan. Shavan doing go to the beginning, only the beginning of Kishle. So all together, how many four months? All right, four months. And then next one at the corridor to New Earth, I saw fifteen inside and then seventeen outside. Another word, we seventeen stand for victory, fifteen stand for rest. Another word, we need to one to win the victory. We need to be the overcomer. We need to be overcomer. Seventeen victory overcomer. We need to overcome. Okay, we need to be overcomer to enter rest. Fifteen stand for rest. Oh, we need to be overcomer to enter rest. Now, next one is now. You may say, Lily. Please tell me more about overcomer. The Lord said you need to persevere. You cannot turn back. You cannot look at this world. You have to continue to look at Lord Jesus, waiting for His coming. Okay, then you are a victor. You are a a person who defeated、uh, whatever circumstances. All right. So, for example, you have a lot of problem coming up. Maybe your health, your eyes, everything. You do not let all these things to crash you down. You trust in the Lord. You look forward to the Lord's coming, and you focus on Him and trust in His word. Read His word, pray to God, and worship God. And then that means you are an overcomer. All right. And then next one, I saw a red pen, color pen. Okay, middle is the black, and then both end red, and it. Pointing point to the nine o'clock position and the、uh, the position between three and four. So what does it mean by that? That means on the fourth of Kishlet, fourth of Kishlet to finish to finish on the fourth of Kishlet, and that happened in the west. In the east is the fifth of Kishlet. Okay. Now next one is a small,、uh, not a small cup. It's a coffee cup that I use one. Mm, not every day because I have three for me to use. So it's a black coffee cup. But this time is the first time I saw the handle at nine o'clock. It's the first time I saw the handle at nine o'clock. Before that, ten to be four or five or six, and then finally came to three, three, and now has come to nine o'clock position. So in other words, it's Kishlet going home. All right. 
Now, next one is uh, at the nine o'clock position. There's a rectangle like this, and that means going out. Okay, going out like a like a door. Okay, going to the corridor. All right. So and then be, I suddenly smell. You know, I smell good smell. Thank you, Lord. I really smell, Lord. <sighs> I can smell something. Smell that baby powder. <laughs> okay. Um. Lord, please tell me what kind of smell suddenly. I think normally the Lord has this a uh, smell of roses. Okay, I've smelled uh, smell roses quite a number of times, but this powder this is not the first time already. Maybe Lord Holy Spirit, please show me why I smell this baby powder smell. Please tell me. Yeah, I can smell it again. <laughs> please tell me, Lord. Oh, is it also the smell, of Lord Jesus Christ, or the smell of the Holy Spirit, or the Father? Praise the Lord. Okay, the Lord will show me. I believe in Him. All right, next one is this going out, uh, the uh, going to the corridor. Okay, with a, a now call position, and there is a, a a word beside that is la la means to finish. I mean to finish in Kishlet, enter the corridor. All right, next one is. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. There's something that I forgot to explain in the Chinese one as well. Now, can you still remember last time I said vision from heaven about coming down? I saw two circles, one big, one small. In the center one, there's a smaller circle, right? And then there's a star. At one corner of the star, there's a circle. So inside has got four. Outside, has, uh, no, inside has got five. Outside has got four. And then we know that we are going home uh, in Kishlet on the fourth and the fifth okay so according to the visions we saw also mingzi mingzi is how many stroke or oh, these two words 12 stroke 12 stroke means completion fully complete and then nine days same date nine days okay nine can stay for the month month of kishle okay nine and then uh ten ten is four stroke oh yeah ten four stroke that means Fourth of Kishlet, and also four also stand for heavenly kingdom. Okay, here you got Tian Tian Guo. Tian Guo means heavenly kingdom. So this one is not uh, exactly talking about last nine days. You know, so if we would want to refer to nine last nine days, yes, that would do. But then this is really actually a call, uh, referring to the Jewish calendar. Okay, then Jia means home. All right, next one. I saw a young man, okay, looking at the sky. That means what? Means he is waiting on the Lord. Now, waiting on the Lord, as I said already, we need to prepare each day. Our intimate relationship with God, our close relationship with God. How to do it? By reading the scripture, meditate on his word and pray and worshiping him. Do, do not uh, listen to the love stories, uh, worldly love music or whatever, no. Listen to the love music for Lord Jesus Christ and you really feel so happy and you can feel his praise in as well, right? Okay, now next one. You know, when, for many, many years when I was driving in Malaysia, in the car we were definitely on the worshipping song. And if I travel driving cars for many hours, sometimes seven hours, eight hours to, take, to, to, to go and see my mom in another town, and then uh, sometimes because... At times, it's a time to bring him to clinic and so on. I was just could drive about six to eight hours when there's good weather or good road. Okay, six hours, but sometimes up to eight hours when the road was not good. Okay, <clears throat> but anyway. So, and then I saw the white word, a bracket written down only. In other words, only those who focus on Lord Jesus Christ, looking to the day of redemption, looked up the 21 to verse 28, looking to the day of redemption, this kind of Christian, we can call them mature Christian, and this kind of Christian who love God, who love people, will be going home as the wise virgin, okay? Wise bride of Christ in Jesus' name, amen? So everybody get ready, make sure they don't think that three months is a long way to go. It will come very soon in Jesus' name. Amen.